Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be trying out Technic Cosmetics. They recently sent me a bunch of makeup to try and I actually did a full face trying out their products, testing them out and stuff. Um, I was actually really really surprised by some of the products, especially because they're so affordable, like I just can't wrap my head around it. Um, it just comes to show that like cheap makeup products like, can be really really good too. Um, but yeah, I just did a full face and talked you through it and let you guys know what were, what were my favourite ones and what were my least favourite ones. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you guys are wondering, this jumper is actually from Top Man. Top Man. It's got like this um, material on the sleeves and everything. I love it so much and it's so comfy and warm. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop elaborating. I hope you guys will enjoy this testing out video and we'll jump straight onto it. Right, so I've tied my hair back and I'm first going to do my eyebrows as always and I'm using the Technic Brow Amazing Eyebrow Gel. This really reminds me of the Wonder Brow for some reason because it comes with that brow product on the spoonie. This one's in the shade Black Brown. I'm so sorry if there's like a lot of noise, the sticky tin that's on. But this is what it comes as, like with the spoonie and the brow product and you just take it out. And it literally looks very similar to the Wonder Brow product. I'm just taking an angled brush from Vanity Planet and I'm just gonna start off lightly. Not bad at all, actually. What I'm really liking about this brow product is that it's setting, so it's like keeping all the brow hairs in place. Okay, so they also sent me this cream foundation contour palette. This will basically be my base concealer and contour. Um, it comes like this. It does say it's a new product. The colors look like this, and I think I'm gonna take this one. I don't know, in real life it, it actually looks alright, but you can definitely see I put stuff on my brows. <laughs> like it's, it, it, it goes well, but it's much more dramatic than I usually have it. So now I'm also going to take some of the concealer. I'm going to use this one right here, this colour right here. I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm going to put some eyeshadows. kind of like the consistency, like it's not applying like too oily like most of these concealer palettes are. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that in place. So they also sent me this eyeshadow palette. Um, this is the Pro Finish eyeshadow palette in the Toffee edition. They also sent me the Raspberry edition, which looks like, so this is the Toffee edition really warm tones and browns and stuff and this is the raspberry edition but i'm actually going to keep this foggy away because i have so many palettes with like pinks and reds in it today i'm going to be using the toffee edition and the toffee edition looks really 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 nice like i know i would use these colors on a daily basis if the shadows are really nice like if they have a nice formula but look at that i did touch one of them so let's say like i touched this one like look how pigmented it is you can't get better than that, like, I don't even know the prices of these palettes, but they're mostly affordable anyways. So I was really surprised by that pigmentation. So there's not really a um, base colour in this palette, so I'm going to use their Soft Focus Setting Powder. It comes with a sponge, but I, to be honest, it, it feels really, like, cheap, um, so I don't think I'll be using that. It's really, really white. I get worried when powders are really white, like that. But it's like the Kat Von D Loose powder. Like, I love that powder and it's super white looking. We will do a um, flash test once I set my under eyes. I'm now going to use this shade right here. When you touch these eyeshadows, they feel really, really, really nice. Like, they feel very soft like not chalky. It's, it says it's talc free, blendable, highly pigmentate, pigmented, what the hell? Highly pigmented and long lasting. So um, I don't really think it's really pigmented. Blending is actually, I can tell like instantly that it's really, really effortless. Like it, it's blending so nicely. 
I'm gonna do one eye first. I'm really, really, really tempted to use this color right here. It's like this perfect brick color. I'm just gonna use this clean brush that came in the palette and I'm just gonna blend the edges. Oh my God, the brush is so soft as well. I need to check what the price is. I need to check now because I'm actually quite shocked. There is some fallout, but that's why I made sure to do my eyes first. I'm now going to use this really deep bark brown. Okay, at first that brown wasn't coming as pink pigmented as I wanted to. I mean, it's not as pigmented as I want it to be, but it's not bad at all, to be honest. Like it's showing up on me. There's actually a black in here as well. But it's not like one of those really pigmented blacks. It's like one of those grey blacks. I don't want to be too picky with it. And I don't know if I want to use black to be honest. I think I'm going to stay away from it. Um, but that's just a swatch of it. And it's not bad but it's not the most pigmented black out there. But again for the price I'm sure it's pretty good. I'm also going to use this really pretty gold shade right here. I'm just going to use my finger. The shimmer shadows are very like powdery. Oh my god. That's not bad though. It's a bit more on the powdery side but it's actually not bad. We need to try and wet it. Like We have to give it a go. So I've just wet it with some spit setting spray. Guys, can you see that? I would definitely say wet them, the shimmery shadows, because they apply much more like wet looking and like sparkly. I just want to put some of this metallic eyeshadow, like cream shadow. A quick swatch of it. It's more on the silvery side, but I really want to try it, so here goes. Trying to make sure there's a cute transition, you know? Wow, it's like already set. Okay, while that's dry, I'm also going to do a wing liner and I'm using the Technic Skinny Liner Liquid Eyeliner. This is what it looks like. It's a felt tip. Oh, look at that. Oh my, oh, so, oh. I mean, I'm really not used to like using liners like this, but it's not bad, like honestly. You see this? <gasps> love, love, love that eyeshadow. I just found out that you can get Technique from a bunch of like outlets, like Amazon, Beauty Base. Beauty Base is where I usually see them. The concealer palette is free 99. The powder is $3.99. The eyebrow product is £5, which is not bad. So I'm really, really surprised about the prices. I'm not going to lie. For this quality, I haven't seen the liner yet, but I'm pretty sure it's super cheap as well. So I'm now going to go in with my lash curler quickly before I use the mascara they sent me. Okay, so I've just curled my lashes and I'm going to be using the Technic Mega Lash Water Resistant Mascara. I usually don't go for mascaras that are waterproof or water resistant in any type of way because I feel like I tug on my lashes so much to get it off. But I'm still going to try it out and see if it's a good mascara. It's really, really black, which I really like. And this is the brush. So the mascara is not bad. I mean, it's not like super clumpy and super like voluminous like I like it, but it does give a good length like really good length and it combs so beautifully 
So if you really like natural wispy lashes, then I would actually recommend this mascara. So I'm going to finish the other eye and I will be right back. So now onto skin, I'm going to use this really dark shade first. Almost orangey. I could actually use this as colour corrector. And I, because I'm using a product like this, I think it's best if I do use a colour corrector. And then I'm going to try and get my perfect shade from this palette. I am trying my best here with this palette. The coverage is not that bad to be honest, it's just that the colours aren't the best on my skin tone. I'm just going to use some of the lighter colours of my concealer. Concealer is a bit more on the yellowy side so I kind of prefer that. I think as a highlight and contour palette it's perfect but not foundation and it's not really for foundation. Actually it does say foundation on the palette, on the palette but I don't know, I think it's better for highlight and contour. Let's see if we can blend this. It passes, it passes, but it's not my favourite product, I do have to say. Um, so I'm just going to take the loose powder again. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. Baking it a little bit underneath. Actually, it's really not bad to highlight and contour, but as a base, I don't know because it does feel very heavy. Like I feel something on my base. Um, but as a contour and highlight, it's not bad. Um, the next thing I'm going to be trying out is this uh, Technic Gorge Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder. This is the one that's like catching my eye. This one's called 24 Karat Gold. It reminds me of the MAC Mariah Carey um, collection. Remember she had that highlighter and it looks really exactly the same, even the colour. I'm just going to put this on the highest points of my face. Oh. Oh my god. Isn't that just so pretty? Perfect gold. Bruh. It's actually going on as a bronzer. Oh no. Can you guys see that? It's like too dark for me. It's too dark. I literally can put it as a bronzer. Can you see that? <gasps> okay, let's just put it as a bronzer then. Even though it's a highlighter. I feel like I look so muddy now. They did also send me these other colours. I might try the peachy one. And I might keep this one for a giveaway. So this one's not really like a blush, it's more of a highlighter on me. You can't really see the peach, it looks more of like a highlighter. This is the bronzy one, but I should I should have I should have checked first. It's a bit too dark. But if you're deeper than me, that this one, I would recommend this one for you. Okay, we're gonna quickly jump on the lips. I'm gonna do a red like vampy lip. So I'm first gonna line my lips with this Technic lip pencil. This one's in the shade dark red. It's actually really creamy. I'm also going to be using this Technic lipstick, it's so beautiful, uh, it's called Miss Chief. That is such a beautiful formula, it feels so comfortable, it's such a beautiful red. 
I don't know, I'm digging that red. I'm just going to put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Oh my god, I love this lipstick so much. And I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. To be honest, I was very, very surprised by all the products. Um, it does look pretty put together. To be honest, the contour palette I would only use for highlight and contouring. I wouldn't use it as a foundation. I actually really love the highlighters. And oh my god, most my most favourite thing is definitely that liquid eyeshadow. It's so, so blinding and it, it's literally like dried down. So this literally cannot budge. And um, this one's in the shade champagne for everybody um and they sent me some other colors so i'm definitely keeping these ones they're actually so 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 good um my least favorite thing was probably the mascara like i just don't think it's for me um i love the lipstick though i don't really use, wear reds but i feel like this i could wear like this is so comfortable and it makes my lips look really soft even though they're so dry right now the liner was good actually the eyeshadow palette was actually really really good i love this eyeshadow palette um, let's quickly do a flash test to check the powder because that is very important. There's a little bit of flashback guys. In the photos my face is appearing a little lighter than usual. It might have been the powder because I did apply it everywhere so it could be that I don't know so I don't know when things like that happen I'm kind of like skeptical to wear it. I think the powder is a pass for me. Um, but yeah, I definitely love the highlighters, the brow product, I love it, highlighters, liquid eyeshadow and the lipstick. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this testing out video. I definitely recommend checking out Technique because they have some pretty cool products that are super affordable. That's what makes it so good, like they work so well. Like there has been some products that don't work for me, but the, my favourite ones are like such a bargain. So that's even better because they're so good, but it's yet yeah, so cheap. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more testing out videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.